Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today I'm starting a three day survival outing with three items. Stay with us, it's gonna be awesome. So, I just got in the woods probably about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago or so, and I wanted to just do a little, a little intro here to, uh, to this trip. This is a uh, three-day survival outing, and I brought three items with me. First item here is my clean canteen, 40-ounce clean canteen with a deer antler toggle on there. And I wear this over my shoulder to carry it around. So, got that. Now, most importantly, of course, you know it's coming, right? I've got my knife. This is the Topps T2 Tracker Knife. I love this knife, and uh, so I'm gonna be carrying that on me as well. And then, Ferrocerium Rod for starting fires, because I spend so much time when I do primitive survival, so much time trying to make a cutting tool or trying to make a bow drill kit or a hand drill kit, mouth drill kit, what have you, for a fire, and also making bowls making ways to transport and purify water. So these three things shave a lot of time off, uh, off of my camp chores and survival tasks, what I have to do. I've been looking forward to this for weeks and I can't wait to get further in and figure out where my camp's gonna be and begin to build my camp because that's like one of the funnest parts of this is making your camp. So here we go, come with me. There's a cedar tree up here. This is gonna be extremely useful for cordage, starting fires, wipe my rear end if I need it. I'm <laughs> probably gonna. This is what I mean about keeping your eyes open for all different kinds of things and this could be a great baton stick and I'm not gonna try to hack through it with my knife or chop it with my knife but what you do, what you do do, yeah, what you do do, what you do <laughs> is you wedge it between two branches or two trees that are glowing, growing, glowing growing close together like this and the length that you want you have even with the center of this tree and I'm just gonna either I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it towards me the way I have it but you can push it away too if you lined it up the other way but it's gonna break right here nice and easy there's upper tongue okay so been in the woods for maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes already. And uh, I've already began to gather things. You, uh, you don't try to make a mental note of where things are. You grab them while you're there. Stuff your pockets, uh, you know, stick them in your sock if you have to. You should have armloads of things by the time you find your survival location to make your camp. So I've already broken these two whomping sticks. Um, you could also call them batons. Birch bark, to start fires later. Got a bunch of cedar bark to make cordage with or to start fires or to wipe my arse. I also uh, found a whole bunch of sweet fern, so I grabbed just kind of like one sprig of it or whatever you call it, one little twig of it. And uh, this is great for making a tea later for lunch or dinner, or I can use this to, uh, to rub myself to help keep bugs off either one. I'm probably gonna use it for tea because I love how this tastes and smells. See these tips on the pine tree here that are just starting to grow? The light green? That's edible how it is right now. So while they're bitter, they're very nutritious, full of vitamin C. Hey Blue Jay, I hear ya. There's some more. Right there. Another one. Yeah. You know, get a whole bunch of these down the hatch while I'm right here. And even though I am kind of in survival mode, I try not to strip all these off of the same branch. I kind of like do it almost like I'm pruning the tree. That way the tree can still be healthy this year and have some new growth this year. And I'm not gonna seriously affect any whole branches my activity. Okay, let's move on.
This is awesome. I found it. All right, everybody, this is going to be my camp overlooking the beautiful swamp slash pond out there. Check it out. It's a protected area. I'm kind of up on a on a slope a little bit. That way nobody around can see it even at night if there's a fire. And uh, there's my tripod and stuff over there for filming. And uh, got all these branches to build my shelter with and for firewood. There's branches all around really. And uh, Oh, I'm super stoked about this spot. Get some sun in here. The birds. Oh, man. So I'm going to be hanging all these fallen pine boughs to help waterproof my shelter a little bit. And what I do is I hang them upside down by the crook in them. So I'll find somewhere like this. Oh, there we go. And I'll just jam it right in there and make sure it's nestled in. And that's how I hang it. And that way the needles are facing down, help shed water, and they're very easy to attach. So I'm going to do this all over the back of the shelter now. So what the idea is, is now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab all this leaf litter. I'm going to toss it on top. Not too thick of a pile, you know, just to help keep the wind out, rain out if it does rain. And uh, then the shelter will be finished. I'll start, I'll start working on the fire pit. I've been collecting some stones as I've uh, been grabbing these boughs also. And also dry wood for burning. So I've got stuff kind of all about camp here. I'll sort through it later and make our fire pit and make our wood pile and all that stuff. When you collect debris, guys, for whatever shelter, whether it's what I'm working on now, my modified lean-to, or if it's debris hut or anything like that, you don't just start picking through and getting sticks out and, like, you know, going little bits like this, playing patty cake with it. You, uh, you know, like Prince said, go crazy. So it's like, go all animal on it. Go like that. That's a bundle, and you go. Well, the shelter's looking really good. I'm gonna shift gears now. I think that's enough to keep all but a torrential downpour off of me. I wanna start uh, getting more rocks, and I'm gonna seek out a spot with the, the uh, softest, most stick-free, pine needles and I'm going to grab mounds of that and shove that in there for my nice soft bedding. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Now I need a ton more. Actually, this is super comfy. Okay. Oh, it's super awesome. The wind sometimes goes this way and this way. So, what I want to do is use this tree stump. That's exactly why I put this here. I built the shelter in this spot. I'm going to use this as a support. I'm going to make a little semi wall about, you know, yay high, going straight to the corner of my shelter that way, and then 
straight down this way to the to the end of the shelter but I'm gonna leave an entrance down there and this will act to keep the wind off me also as a heat reflector and if I need to I can use the wood from it for the fire if I run out of firewood for some reason in an emergency so I'm gonna get to work building this and uh, Oh man, my knee, my left knee for some reason is flipping killing me. It's very, very hilly terrain around here. It's probably got something to do with it. Now what I'm gonna do is to create a real wind barrier is I'm going to mount up the bridge just like I did on top of my uh, lean-to and I mount it up against the outside of this. That way it's a little bit further away from my fire. Here is our finished camp for now. Here's the bed right there for the nice fluffy debris to sleep in and the lean-to structure fire pit and our modified stacked debris wall which forms a ring pretty much a ring around the whole front of this except for right in here right there my entrance So I am very happy with how this came out. I'm super stoked to sleep in here later and try it out. And uh, whew, that's all for now. I'm gonna rest, man. My knee is killing me. I'm starting to get muscle cramps too from being at it all day. I think it's about uh, three in the afternoon. I've been at it since nine. No water and I haven't stopped. So it's about time I stop and take care of myself. I'm in good enough shape. So this is the spot where I've been processing all my firewood, guys. And I break it up into different sized thicknesses. Then I bring it all to camp. Well, just found a small patch of wintergreen here. And um, this is gonna be a godsend for me because my knee is just getting to be in excruciating pain now from all the uphill, downhill building my shelter and camp. So I'm gonna pick several of these plants. Normally I just do leaves, but there's a whole big patch here. And uh, I'm gonna put this in my pocket and I'm gonna make myself some medicinal tea, some wintergreen tea. And I'll need about twice as many leaves as that. Because wintergreen is what we call an aspirin bearing plant. It has a, uh, uh, not a chemical, because it's natural, but it has, a, I don't know if you call it a compound or whatnot. It has something in it, which is like natural aspirin and works great as a painkiller. I have used it before on myself and on my son. And uh, I'm gonna make myself up some strong wintergreen tea when I get back to camp and see if I can help this knee out. I didn't want to have to do this yet, but I just went and filled up the canteen in the creek and uh, I got the winter green. I want to make myself some tea because I'm dehydrated and not feeling so great. I'm getting muscle cramps. So I'm going to create my fire lay and get a fire going here to boil that water, kill the germs. I don't like lighting fires on the damp earth, so I'm going to lay down the best I can. There's birch bark, these birch bark strips. So here's that cedar bark that we gathered before. We're going to use this as our tinder, what you need to do is you're gonna need to rough it up to expose all those fine fibers. That'll catch the sparks from our ferrocerium rod. 
a little bit better. You can see the difference already. So that's what we're looking for. Bird's nest type of thing. And that should be all we need for this fire. And I got enough left over to get this fire started later on when I'm hopefully cooking dinner. And we're going to do a TP fire to make this uh, heat up as fast as possible. So it's like stacking cups. You do little sticks and then bigger sticks, bigger sticks, bigger sticks. A rough teepee. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to work. All right. So I don't want to disturb this because if I if I hold the steel like you see people do and swipe with the knife, I'm going to knock off, knock over my fire structure. So I'm going to hold the knife still and I'm going to drag the rod. Okay, I'm going to drag the rod towards me. Boom. All right. Stay lit, you. Get in there. Get under there. All right, we got some sticks. We got some sticks. The wind is still blowing it a little bit more than I hoped, but the windbreak's definitely helping. All right, I think we got it. I can put the steel away. Man, is it toasty in here already? This is working great. I am, uh, I mean, I thought it would work okay, but I'm pleasantly surprised. This, this is working great. It's already getting so hot over here. I don't want to have to use more wood right now. So I'm just gonna hurry up and get the bottle in there. Hopefully I'll get it to boil. Another benefit to the baton. It's a bonus fire poker. Just about at a low boil. All right, so keeping with the multitasking, while this is gonna purify, I'm gonna go collect some more big firewood for later. All right, this has been added about 10 minutes. So what I've got here is a built-in toggle. And what I can do is I can use that. It's a piece of deer antler. Uh, that I've filed down and I made a little groove in it to accept the parachute cord here and I've got it tied to the bottle cap. What I can do is stick it in there and hook it and I can use that to retrieve this from the fire without getting burned hopefully. And then there you go. Fish it back out. And that's how I keep it. it stays right there nestled in the cap. <sighs> Staying 40 ounces taking too long to cool off, so guess what? I'm taking it to go. I'm gonna take it down to the stream. Just like this on the toggle. I'm gonna cool it off in the stream so I can have my tea, man. <sighs> Goodbye, super awesome shelter. How funny would that be if I dropped this? Perfect slipped out. No, seriously, that wouldn't be funny. That would suck. Oh, that would suck so bad. Oh. Alright, I gotta be super careful here. No faux pas. Gonna stick it right in this deep little cranny for a few minutes. Hopefully it doesn't move and uh, let it cool off. Hopefully it'll at least let the bottle cool off enough that I can put the cap on. I don't have to worry about it as much. Man, it's so pretty here. It's a deer right there. Cool enough now, I'm just gonna shred these up and then put them in there, let them steep. Remind me of being in my parents' backyard growing up by the pool. There's always a cat bird that would be carrying on, hanging out. They're a pretty cute looking bird too. They sound cool and they look cool. 
That deer is still down there just chillaxing, hanging out, eating some plants. He just looked over here. Hey, buddy. You got any dough? Yeah, just a couple bucks. What do you say we fish this ball out of the creek and uh, have a little tasty tasty, nicey nicey. Well, it's cool enough I can touch it now. I don't need the toggle. It's still hot. Ooh, I just dropped it on my foot. No, it's not that bad. All right. Oh, it smells super awesome. It's probably worth the wait, man. I'm not good with hot beverages. If, if it's like just a little bit too hot, I don't like it. <laughs> too soon. Back in the creek. Okay. We'll try again in 10 minutes. All right, let's hit it. Flipping knee.